Hey guys, Chase Griffith, Graphoto.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about APS-C or full frame. Okay, so what we have here is we have a Canon 7D, which is an APS-C sensor, which they call, it's considered a crop sensor. So that means the sensor is a little bit smaller than a full frame sensor. And what that ultimately does is essentially magnifies the amount of zoom you have on your lens and i believe canon's like 1.6 so we'll just do 1.5 to make it easier 1.5 zoom factor so if we have a 24 to 70 here that would make this lens 1.5 times that distance because it basically just crops off the edges and makes it appear to be zoomed in further so that'd make this 24 that'd be 12 36 by 105 yeah so this 24 to 70 you'll notice the 24 to 70 that's 24 millimeters to 70 millimeters on a full frame camera full frame is a 35 millimeter equivalent so that sensor is the same size as the old film 35 millimeter so that's how they kind of go off that standard so 24 to 70 on a cropped APS-C sensor is actually 36 to 105 so we're going to look at that difference here uh, we have the full frame Canon 5D Mark III with the 70 to 200 on there so if you put APS-C on there on a 70 to 200 that makes it a 105 to 300 lens when you consider the crop factor so the biggest advantage of the full frame is uh, I believe they have a cleaner image quality and it performs much better in low light. The bigger sensor allows more light to hit it, so you can get better ISO and lower, higher ISO and lower light results. So ISO, for example, ISO 6400 on a 5D Mark III will look a lot cleaner than an ISO 6400 on a Canon 7D because the sensor's smaller in the 7D. The sensor's bigger in the 5D Mark III, full frame versus APS-C. So, Let's take some shots of that slide way over there, fully extended 200 millimeter with the full frame. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Okay, there's uh, the slide with the full frame camera. I'm not gonna change anything. All I'm gonna do is turn this camera off and I'm gonna remove this camera from the lens because the lens is what's actually mounted to the little baby tripod there and the cute oh yeah it's cute and I'm gonna put this crop sensor APS-C sensor on blam nothing changed turn that on same shot same exact shot and we're gonna see how it crops in you won't see a lot of the edges it'll be as if it's zoomed in further although if the lens is physically not so that is what it looks like on a APS-C crop sensor. That's basically a 300 millimeter equivalent. So <clears throat> when I first bought my first full frame camera uh, with the wider angle lenses, I was really surprised at how much more I could see. And then with the telephoto lenses, I was I, 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 disappointed. I guess not disappointed, but I was surprised but that 200 millimeter, at actual 200 millimeter, doesn't look nearly as much as it did with the crop sensor because I essentially was looking at a 300 millimeter lens. So, uh, yeah, that's just the crop factor, you know, low light situations, full frames definitely where you want to be. Uh, the APS-C sensors, they are a lot less expensive than the full frame. And uh, that's one advantage of those. But yeah, full frame, APS-C. Thanks for watching. Chase Griffith Photography, Griffoto.com. See ya.